Hi, welcome to Financial IT. I'm Chris Principe, the publisher of Financial IT, and I'm here today to take on one of the questions that a lot of people are asking in the industry, which is, how do cryptocurrencies and the blockchain chain technology impact financial services going forward? So it's an interesting question and something that at Financial IT we've been studying and reporting about since Cybos 2015 in Singapore. And I think one of the first things people think about with cryptocurrencies is Bitcoin, which is easily the best known out of the cryptocurrencies, although it has cast a dark shadow on the industry with uh, platforms that were shut down because they didn't perform properly and because the Bitcoin uh, technology uh, actually allowed payments to be made without the proper due diligence and compliance that are required by the global regulatory uh, authorities and the banking industry. So th that presented uh, a, lot of, a lot of challenges and we wanted to go out there and, and dig a little deeper into this and one of the people that I uh, was able to speak to about this was Dr. Ruja Ignatova, uh, founder of OneCoin, and got her take on this. And what uh, she had to say basically is that uh, OneCoin is designed from the, the beginning with the blockchain technology to enable full compliance, transparency of the people who are buying and selling, and that the uh, approach for, for OneCoin is to uh, have a valuation that people can use to buy and sell things that they need, to be able to send home remittance money to their loved ones, and to be able to do this in, in a way that is faster and cheaper than the traditional banking systems. So th that was uh, very interesting for us and we again looked a little bit deeper into it and found that uh, the banks in particular are not uh, addressing a lot of the uh, needs of the consumer and uh, more importantly of the small to medium sized corporations. And the way that they're addressing it, it today is with uh, fees on their payments, uh, fees and, and spread on the currency exchanges and these pretty much amount to a penalty on the poor paying the poor. Uh, the bigger customers pay much less and, and they get much better attention from the banks. It's even more pronounced when you look at the unbanked. These are the people that are not part of the banking system that the banks are, are not really uh, interested in being able to address. It's difficult for them to, to address those people. But with a cryptocurrency, they're now able to be part of their local and global economies. So this has really uh, been a game changer, we think, in the industry in general. We think that going forward, uh, a fully compliant uh, cryptocurrency, OneCoin being one example, is, uh, will be able to transform and revolutionize some areas of the banking space where the banks today are either uh, reluctant to participate in or just uncompetitive in and, and take a very complex uh, thought of what is cryptocurrency and make it a very simple uh, basic transaction that uh, the common person can understand and can be able to use that in their their day-to-day -day life as well as the small corporations in their day-to-day -day life. So our uh, assessment of cryptocurrencies based on the blockchain technology is that going forward there is a very uh, strong opportunity for a cryptocurrency to play a role as a major trade currency and allow cross-border payments and settlements to be done uh, faster, cheaper and easier than the banks today. So thank you very much. This is Financial IT. I'm Chris Principe and we will continue to look at this very interesting topic of cryptocurrencies based on the blockchain technology.